In this video, we will be creating our Blazor project and I have Visual Studio 2022. Let me create a new project. When we select next year, we will see a list of template and there we have Blazor web app. If you do not see it here, you can always search for that. But let me select that and I will hit the next button. I will call this project Learn Blazor. It will be an introductory project where we will explore the basic fundamentals of Blazor. Let me select next year and we have more option. I am using .NET 9 here, but you can select .NET 8 if you want. Things will be aligned pretty much the same. If you do want to use .NET 9, right now you will have to install Visual Studio 2022 Preview and that is what I am using. Because .NET 9 has not been released yet, I will be using the preview version. Next, I have authentication type. You can select individual user account or you can go with no authentication. I do not want to overcomplicate things when we are learning, so we will keep that as none for now and later on we will add individual accounts. Configure for HTTPS, we can set that to be true and then we have interactive render mode. If you open the drop down here, you have server, WebAssembly, auto, and none. This can be overwhelming for someone who is getting started with Blazor. If you have worked with Blazor before .NET 8, you will remember that there was Blazor server and Blazor WebAssembly. But Blazor in .NET 8 using Blazor Web App is something different. Well, the fundamentals are the same, but the interactivity mode is different and it is much better. I will not go into that complexity right now. Let me select the server here as the interactivity mode and after we explore the basic fundamentals of programming in Blazor, then I will dive deeper inside the interactive render modes. After that we have interactivity location that can be changed by per page or component or we can have a global interactivity with Blazor. In order to understand the basic fundamentals, we will take the simpler approach, which is global interactivity. Now again, I will explore all of these options later on in the course, rather than bombarding you with new technology and new things right now. For now, just select server as the interactivity mode and location as global. With that, we will include the sample pages and we want to use the top level statements so that looks good. Let me hit the create button and that will create our project and perfect. With that we have created our first Blazor project. Let me go back to the project here and before we do anything here, let me run the project. Let's see what exactly the default project comes with and explore the files that are there. Perfect, it brings up the page here you can see on the left side we have navigation for home, counter and weather. When we select that, you can see there was some loading and then it disappears. Now here everything is being done using Blazor. When we click here, you can see the counter also increases. All of that is the power of Blazor and here we are not using any JavaScript right now. If we had to do the same things using MVC, we would probably have to use some JavaScript to increment that counter to get the interactivity that you saw on the screen. Now this is the default application that comes with Blazor. In order to explore that, you can see we have few components and pages here. Before we work on anything else here, let me switch back here and explore the files and folder that are included in the default Blazor project and walk you through what each file is responsible for. 